So um, the petroleum industry bill is uh, what is commonly called the PIB uh, was supposed to be a piece of legislation that would regulate um, the activities of the industry. Uh, yes, you rightly mentioned the international companies, the Nigerian companies, the service companies international and the uh, service companies that are Nigerian, but also take into consideration the, um, you know, the sensitivities around host communities and other things in the entire, all the stakeholders in the oil and gas industry. Unfortunately, for almost 18 or 19 years, this piece of legislation has been in uh, some form of uh, gestation and it's actually been uh, quite damaging for the investment profile of Nigeria because we are unable to attract the investments which require certainty about how their returns would come. In its current form, the PIB has been split into four parts, um, a, an administrative bill, a fiscal bill, a host uh, community bill, uh, the PIGB, and uh, the, uh, the governance bill. So there's a governance, administrative, fiscal, and host community uh, bill. And all these parts are in various stages of uh, gestation in, in the uh, National Assembly. The success, the latest success recently was that the governance bill, I believe it was, went through the Senate, but was sent back to the uh, National Assembly by the, 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 the executive because they had certain disagreements with it. Um, our view in the industry is that we really need to have progressive policies that attract investment into the country. Uh, if we continue to not have clear direction uh, with the lack of a PIB in the country, uh, you will see that investment dollars will be moving to other African countries. In the last 18, 20 years, while we've been discussing this bill, lots of countries like Mozambique, Mauritania, uh, Uganda, Kenya, Ghana, have now become oil producing nations in Africa. We really need to urgently address this. Perhaps in the next, uh, the ninth National Assembly, this will be fixed. So this is an excellent, excellent question. I, I think that um, uh, what you're speaking to is what we in the industry consider uh, the reserves replacement ratio. So the reserves replacement ratio is uh, how quickly you are replacing what you're producing. And uh, in Nigeria, um, we are, it's a little bit of a complex situation because we are not producing a lot in relation to what we have in the ground. I mentioned that the United States of America has the same 2P reserves as Nigeria, but is producing six times more oil per day than we are. So um, I think the urgent situation in Nigeria is for us to improve or increase our production. But I absolutely take your point, and the core of our business in Slumberger is actually exploration. And exploration are those activities that will help to replace the reserves. In Nigeria, we have a number of unexplored basins in in parts of the country, and even significant potential that is untapped even in the Niger Delta after 50, 60 years of production. So exploration needs to be done, but the challenges in the country today is more around maximizing production today. And that is what I think needs um, urgent attention from the regulators. In one word, uh, I have to say I've had a fantastic experience today, and I must thank you very much. Uh, for this uh, opportunity. Um, I think that the motivation for me coming here was indeed to share in what I see is your vision for bringing leadership and the non-technical type of skills to a much wider uh, population. And um, for me personally, as for us in Slumberger, we are very passionate about um, empowering young minds to be able to achieve their potential. I see and I share with you that uh, in the country, 
we need transformational leadership. And for that, you have to in interact with a bunch of uh, these young minds, share experiences with them, and uh, allow them to grow. You did mention Sambeje has a long history of having Nigerians in leadership in Nigeria. It's not an accident. Um, right from the start of our involvement in Nigeria, and in fact in any country around the world, we have a, uh, a mantra or a policy, if you like, which is to say we recruit where we work. And we've been doing this in Nigeria for more than 50 years. Uh, since the very first uh, oil well in Nigeria, which we successfully discovered uh, oil in. So in summary, it's, it's really a privilege to come and share our experiences, and uh, we share with you the dream and the vision of empowering uh, young people, young minds to be uh, productive leaders of the future.